Hello, hello, dear viewers. Welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. This is part two of clutch problems and solutions. In the previous video, we have looked at, in part one of the video, we have looked at two main clutch problems. One is when clutch fail to release with the pedal depressed, and then clutch fail to release. And the other problem that we have seen in the previous video is clutch slippage. Now, in this video, we are going to have a look at three main clutch-related problems. Number one, grabbing or chattering when clutch is engaged. Number two, squeal or rumble when clutch is fully disengaged. That means when pedal is depressed. And number three, we're going to have a look at when there is a problem associated with the clutch pedal. Clutch pedal stays on the floor when clutch is disengaged. Now let's have a look at each and see what causes all those problems. Now as you have previously mentioned, the clutch is fully functional when the friction disc is pressed hard onto the flywheel by the pressure plate and uh, all these clutch components. That will be very nice. And when the clutch pedal is depressed, however, the force that is holding this assembly has to be fully released and then clutch has to be free to spin by its own disconnecting power flow from the engine to the transmission gearbox. Now, if hum, somehow that mechanism is disturbed, that will cause clutch problem. Now, no, let's have a look at grabbing or chattering when clutch is engaged. What can cause this? Number one, if there is oil on the clutch plate or lining, that can cause grabbing as the clutch is engaged. And the other problem is when there is worn or loose engine or transaxle mounts. These units move slightly when the clutch is released, and that will cause chattering or grabbing when clutch is engaged. So when clutch is engaged, it has to be a smooth transition for power flow from the crankshaft to the transmission have to be a smooth flow. Vehicle speed has to be smoothly increasing as the clutch is engaged. Now, whenever we have some chatter, whenever we have some unwanted vibration or go and stop, go and hesitation, that can be a problem with the worn or loose engine or transaxle mount. And the other thing that can cause clutch grabbing is worn splines on the clutch plate hub. If these splines that are transmitting power from the friction disc to the input shaft are somehow damaged or if they are worn, that can release lead to grabbing or chattering. So it could be clutch worn on the hub of the clutch or it could be splines worn out on the input shaft. That can be a cause. And the other one is if there is a problem with the pressure plate itself. The pressure plate, it has to be a surface that is parallel to the flywheel. If there is a warpage, however, warped pressure plate or flywheel can also cause to temporarily power flow interruption and leading to grabbing and chattering as clutch is engaged. So the flywheel has to be a flat surface with no run out or warpage and this pressure plate it has to be also a straight surface without warpage. If there is warpage however the friction that is transmitting power to the friction plate will come and go depending on the surface condition and that will cause chattering or grabbing as the clutch is engaged. And the other problem that is causing clutch chatter is whenever the force that is being acting on the pressure plate is weak, that could be caused by weak diaphragm spring or that could be caused by weak coil spring. This one is using coil spring. If there is a problem with the force that is pushing the pressure plate to the flywheel side, that is another cause of grabbing or chattering clutch. Because this force that will cause the clutch plate to bounce on engagement. When there is no strong force holding the friction disc to the flywheel, when that force is not strong enough, it will cause some form of bounce and some go and jerk, jerky kind of start when clutch is engaged. So these are some of the causes that are leading to grabbing clutch. And the other clutch-associated problem is a squeal or rumble with clutch fully disengaged. Now, once the clutch pedal is depressed, this 
release bearing, it has to move to this side completely, and uh, this has to be free. The friction disc has to be free, and total power interaction has to be there between the engine and the gearbox. But somehow, if there is a problem with the disengagement with pedal depressed, that will cause rumble or squeal when clutch is fully disengaged. This could be caused by worn or broken release bearing. The release bearing is the one that is responsible to transmit the pedal and linkage force from the fork to these levers so that it can disengage the clutch. Now, if there is a problem with this release bearing, that can also cause rumble when clutch is disengaged. And the other thing that can cause this is when there is a, a problem with the force that is acting on the pressure plate. The pressure plate is pressed down to the flywheel side by a coil spring for this particular clutch. And on some other clutch, it is forced by the diaphragm spring. So if that force that is pushing the friction disc to the flywheel is somehow not strong enough, if there is worn or broken pressure, spri pressure plate spring or diaphragm fingers, that can also cause problem. On a diaphragm type, if there are damaged fingers, you know, diaphragm type uh, uh, pressure plate springs, they have fingers. If there is irregularity with the finger shape, that can cause rumble. And on these release levers, if they are out of adjustment, see there are adjusting bolts that will adjust the height of this lever equally so that the, the force of the release bearing will equally distribute, evenly distribute to the pressure plate in every side. If there is a problem with that spring and its arrangement and its release mechanism, that can cause rumble when clutch is fully disengaged. And finally, the other problem associated with the clutch is related to the clutch pedal. When you depress the clutch pedal, if the clutch pedal remains, stays on the floor when disengaged, See, once the clutch is disengaged and once you lift your, f your foot from the clutch pedal, it has to come back. If it stays on the floor, that can be a problem. So that is basically related to linkage. If there is a problem with the clutch linkage, if it is a hydraulic linkage, for example, if it is a hydraulic type, if there is a problem with the hydraulic system, air in the system can cause spongy pedal and uh, it causes the pedal to remain on the floor. It will also somehow tamper with the disengagement problem. And the other thing is if there is a problem on the release bearing, if this release bearing is not freely sliding on the transmission cover here, there is an extension of the transmission cover on which the release bearing is sliding. If somehow that has dirt and debris binding the release bearing to freely slide, preventing it from freely sliding, that can also cause pedal to stay on the floor. So, inspect the linkage or remove the clutch components and inspect if there is a binding release bearing that can also lead to clutch pedal stay on the floor when disengaged. So these are some of the other common problems. In part two of this video, we have looked at grabbing or chattering as clutch is engaged. We have seen five causes. And we have also seen squeal or rumble when clutch is fully disengaged where, or when pedal is depressed. We have looked at some two of causes. And finally, when clutch pedal stays on the floor, we have looked at problem associated with the release bearing and problem associated with the release mechanism or the linkage. So these are the common clutch associated problems. That is all we have for you in this presentation. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, smash the like button and show it. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. And share it with friends who are interested in, to know more about clutch-associated problems. Well, we'll see you in another video. Until then, stay safe.